Chief? Yes, sir. Is this basically the same rules and regulations that was recently adopted by the city of Huntsville, Alabama? Yes, it is. Have there been any changes in the appeal rights that anyone would have? The appeal rights? Yes. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, is there any change in the appeal rights between this set of rules and regulations and the previous rules and regulations that we currently operate under? I think there is an appeal process. Which Can any rule and regulation of the city be appealed to the city council? Absolutely. It's like any violation of law can be appealed to the courts. Yes. And this is adopted as a rule and regulation manual, not, in, not a law. Not a law. Thank you. I don't have a question as far as the process. What, what did you come up with the process of that structure? What area? Uh, it came straight out of the uh, Huntsville And I actually wrote, uh, researched the FEMA rates, uh, which they were extraordinarily low. And I didn't, uh, for sure think that the director services were going to have. Those were lower than what are? About two thirds lower. Yeah. But you took into consideration that these are local business owners and they, they still need to make Yeah, make <laughs> Technically, these are possible rates. Um, I think Mr. Rowland had a good point about getting together with Scottsboro, Jackson County's Record Services, <clears throat> have a meeting, sit down, maybe with you, pardon me, <clears throat> or someone else present, and let's look at Scottsboro's, what we feel like would be a fair rate for Scottsboro for their Record Services to where they could go on rotation and also where they could make a living and make sure that the guidelines that are set out here are followed. I have also heard that there was sometimes there was a certain uh, record service that um, had been suggested, I guess is the word I'm looking for, and we don't want that because everybody's just trying to make a living. So um, at this time I'd like to make a motion that we table this until we can do some more investigation and research and get some more input from the people that are involved. We can't, uh, we're not through the public hearing yet. Yeah, I haven't closed it. Okay, when we do, I'll make that motion. Uh, that's fine, but the problem, the problem that you got, right now we have four companies that are on our location. They all have different ideas of what's fair and what's not. I understand that, but sometimes when you sit down as a group, um, and everybody have input, it might be that we could reach um, a good agreement for everyone involved. Uh, I mean, that's just my, my feeling about it. <coughs> Chief, I got a question, Jesse. Um, <coughs> last week you stated that we were going to um, use the ones that are on the state approved list. Is that correct? That's part of the rule. Uh, that, that's something that I added above and beyond the uh, hospital uh, rules and regulations. I just had one question that are all the record services that are presently um, that we are on rotation, are they all on the approved list? Uh, I found out two are not. Well, I knew one wasn't, and then I found out another one was not. Okay. But they, how long do they have to get on that list? After it's passed or after you approve it, it's 45 days. Why is it necessary for them to be on the state list? <clears throat> if they're in compliance with all the FTC requirements? Um, because we don't have DOT officers within our police department. The state does. They have DOT officers. And they they can assure everybody, us included, that the trucks and the equipment are up to DOT standards. Okay. I've read it twice. I cannot find any reference that they've got to be on the state approved list. Do we have a secret? Do we have public records? Then we have secret records. Why is it not reflected? If, that, if that's a rule, then it needs to be in the ordinance that's passed. I cannot find it. Mm -hmm. I heard it discussed, but I did not see it in print. Well, while we're looking, yeah, do you know what would be entailed in 
being approved or what, what someone would have to go through to, to get certified by those day to be approved by them? Okay. Uh, I mean, you may not know. I believe they inspect their trucks okay. and they, they have to uh, submit a form stating their charges that they would tow, you know, situation, what, what charge would be for a small vehicle, and they have to pre-determine their charges. What they would charge. You know if there's a fee involved in that? For that to, oh, I, to don't, off of that. I don't know. Okay. Do I think we can charge you $15 for the fee allocation. Mr. Craig is right. If, if we got a rule and regulations for Scottsboro, we said everything's got to be done A, B, C, D. Why must we look somewhere else, DOT or otherwise? Because you set out what the compliance must be to be on the Scotts Girls. I think you've got two pages of uh, how many fire extinguishers, how many lights to have, what the weigh-in is, the depth of the tires, and everything. So mm -hmm. you don't have to pay back anything. Scotts Girls <coughs> make some decisions. But in a sense, it double checks each. I'd like to readdress here just a little bit because, you know, the long and short of this is if everyone was doing right and charging right, we wouldn't be here to start with. We wouldn't be having this discussion. You know, if everybody had just been sensible about it, of what's right and what's wrong and what's fair and what's not, we wouldn't be here. But they're not going to be. So it's your job to see that they are. That's what we're trying to do. Let me ask if this is a if it's, this is a private request, it probably wouldn't have been covered by any regs that you do anyway. Because this is a private, this one she requested it. But the record driver also stated that it regardless of who <coughs> they had requested or who they had called, straight out of his mouth, it would be a two hundred fifty dollars. So somebody's got to get her and set the price. Well, uh, I don't think Independent than anything comes as a result of some mm -hmm. mistaken or some impression. Say something now. Uh, I've been listening to Mr. Rollman for the notes, but he said that there ought to be some kind of an appeal process for the record company. If, if uh, they don't agree with it or whatever. I'd say if we're going to do that, then you ought to turn right around and we ought to have the same appeal process for the people whose car were towed in. So if they don't agree with the price, then they ought to have that same appeal process as does the record company. But since, since we're going to have to write it anyway, we need to write it both ways. And then we might as well go ahead and hire somebody because it's an everyday process to handle all that. I think. And I, I speak with some experience. Is everybody here against this? Not we'll close the public hearing. We have a motion to table, table this until we, uh, we find a particular part of the, the ordinance. Um, do I have a second to table it? I'll second. Any discussion? How, how long are we talking about tabling it? Or if we table it? I would like to see a timeline as well. I'd like to, to have it done quickly. Me too. I think that um, we've given everybody the opportunity to come forward and um, get together and sit down. And, um... If it's okay with y'all, why don't just um, Ralph and I and then these uh, record companies sit down this week and talk about it. So, That'd be okay. good. So okay. right, that's fine, y'all. Yes. If one of any of y'all want to come, you're more than welcome to it anyway. So. Okay. Right. Yeah, if we table it. If you table it, that's right. Any other discussion? If not, we'll vote to table this until next week. We have a motion to table it. Or I already have a motion to vote. Mr. Smith? Aye. Mr. Smith? Uh, yes. Ms. McCurry? Yes. Mr. Gary Stewart? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Patrick Stewart? Yes. 
if you would, uh, those of you who are here tonight, go through this thing and you pick out what you live with, what you can't live with, and what you might live with, okay? And be ready when we have this meeting to come to us with some suggestions, okay? And it'd be helpful, especially if we're going to do this for next Monday, is that right? Okay. Next item is to consider the adoption of the remaining 10% of the 2013 2014 budget. Mm -hmm. Can I have a second? Second. Any discussion? If not, we'll vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. I'm opposed to aye. Next item is the Tourism Advisory Board. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. President, uh, City Council, uh, Mr. Mayor. Uh, just wanted to update you on, on our meeting in, in October <clears throat> and uh, give you some idea of, of the direction we're going and why we're going there. Uh, the first, first item is, is our uh, uh, Alabama High School Bass Tournament uh, for this spring. Uh, I think the, uh, the date that they were looking at where the proposal has recently been sent to uh, get in about utilization of our new soccer fields, our new, our sports complex, and we just don't want that to stay empty. It's just it's, it's there and, and, and it's a great facility. It's the way it's been set up and uh, it's if we can get our word out there to sports organizers uh, and that it's uh, actually a, a 14 month promotion. Uh, to give exposure to sports event planners and tournament directors all over the nation. Actually, it reaches around 18,000 tournament directors and event organizers. And that's what we're just looking at that, and uh, hopefully uh, that would be something that we can more of those, those fields to be utilized and to bring more people into our city. Any questions? That's what's been happening in tourism in Scottsboro. Thank you, Jake. Appreciate it. To uh, make a motion to enter executive session to consider the purchase price of a piece of property. <clears throat> Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? No, we'll vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. All in favor say no. The meetings act, I certify as the attorney for the board at this one in the meeting that no votes were held, no decisions but. I would also note that this is the first executive session that I believe we've had in the city of Scottsboro since 2002. With that, do I entertain a motion to authorize the mayor and clerk to make an offer on property near the airport based on the federal appraisal price plus expenses? I'll make that one. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? Mr. Chairman, this would be a property covered that is paid for 90% by the federal government. 5% paid for by the State Air and Rights Commission, 5% paid for by the City. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> Any other discussion? If not, we'll vote. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. <clears throat> now we'll go to reports. Mayor? I don't have anything. Mr. Smith? I have nothing. Mr. Perry. I don't have anything. Mr. Miller. I don't have anything. Mr. Gary Stewart. I don't have anything either. Um, Matt, do I have a motion to adjourn? Make a motion. Do I have a second? Second. In the discussion, I'd like to remind everybody we have a work session in a council meeting next week. With that, let's vote. All in favor say aye. Hi. 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 Hi.